I recognize the gentleman from New York, uh, Mr. Lawler, uh, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Chair Gensler, you have embarked on a rapid and extensive campaign to reform every facet of our markets. It is evident that your rules will significantly change our markets. For example, your equity market structure rules will impact all retail investors, encompassing over 228 million retail accounts. The swing pricing rule will have implications for every mutual fund involving over 100 million American investors. The climate rule imposes new costs on every public company. The predictive analytics rule will encompass virtually every type of technology. The private funds rule fundamentally reshapes the regulation of private institutions in a potentially unlawful manner. The pace and scope of your rules is unprecedented. Have you taken the time to do a comprehensive economic analysis examining the co cumulative impacts of all of these rulemakings on the markets and broader economy? Um, uh, Re Representative Lawler, actually our pace is about the same as prior administrations and per that's not, law article. Respectful, respectfully, we can disagree with that, and that's not what I asked you. I asked you a very specific question. Have you taken the time to do a comprehensive economic analysis to examine the cumulative impact of all of these rulemakings on the markets and the broader economy? Yes or no? On each of the rules, we do a robust economic analysis, and then if another rule is finalized, we, we incorporate that, and we take into consideration that interaction in the uh, possible further rulemaking and, and adjust the economic baselines. So you are saying, for the record, that you have taken the time to do comprehensive economic analysis, examine the cumulative impact of all of these rulemakings on the market and the broader economy, yes for, or no? For the record, what we do is we take into consideration, as and if a rule is finalized, the interaction with other rules, because right. it changes what's called the economic baseline. Yes. So have you done the cumulative impact? You've, have you studied that? Have you done an economic analysis on all of it? We do them rule by rule individually, yep. and also the interaction as it relates to other rules. Uh, if we were to finalize a rule, then we take that in consideration. In those so can you explain rulemakers. your engagement with market participants before putting out significant rule proposals? Are you hold, holding public roundtables? We, we meet with uh, the public extensively before the equity market rules. We, we had numerous meetings um, from when I came on in the summer of 2021 all the way through December of 22. Chair Gensler, California Governor Newsom recently confirmed his intention to sign two bills mandating climate disclosure into law. You mentioned to the press last week that the SEC's staff is, quote, going to take a look if it were to become law, because it may change some of the economic baseline for our rule, uh, end quote. It's evident that the law will indeed uh, alter the economics of your rule. So can you make a commitment to allowing the public an opportunity to provide feedback on the Commission's updated economic analysis before finalizing the rule? Um, we take in consideration public comment. We've had 16,000 comments, a lot of comments on the, on the economics, and we we often will adopt based on those comments. No, no, no. I'm, what I'm asking you is, based on uh, the reevaluation, based on the potential change in law, will you commit to allowing the public an opportunity to provide feedback on the Commission's I, updated economic analysis before finalizing the rule? I, I would say this. We're, we're compelled. This is an important thing. California it's, pretty, it's a pretty straightforward question. Will you allow the public to... Uh, comment on the updated economic analysis before finalizing the rule, yes or no? We would put it, we would, if... Sir? If, if we finalize a rule, it would be part of that finalized rule. Okay. I know you like to obfuscate, but I'm, I'm honestly no, I, I asking think, you sir, a very straightforward sir, I question. I understand. Can where you commit? Where you're headed. Can no, you commit? No, no. The answer so you won't no. commit. Thank you. At, at least sure. you answered the question. Thank you. I want to uh, touch on uh, an, another factor here. The SEC recently proposed amendments to expand and update regulation systems compliance and integrity. The proposal would expand the scope of SCI entities to include certain registered broker-dealers for the first time. 
Feedback from market participants on this proposal suggests that the actual costs for this proposal are in the billions of dollars as a result of the SEC attempting to micromanage the technology setup of individual firms, yet these enormous compliance costs are conveniently absent from the SEC's cost-benefit analysis. Why did, did the Commission fail to acknowledge these costs in its economic analysis? Gentlemen's time has expired if the Chair will uh, respond in written form. Thank you.